Well, how's it going, you guys? Welcome back to the Needy Homesteader channel. And today I'm going to share with you a book I just bought yesterday. <laughs> I've already, I've already been reading it like a mad woman. I read it until wee hours of the night last night. It's phenomenal. And um, I bought mine over at Sam's Club. I always, no matter what I did, every time I go to Sam's Club, I've got to kind of troll the book section. <laughs> what I call the homeschool section of Sam's Club. And they always have such amazing books there. And I ended up picking up a book for the kids too. Uh, but this book caught my eye and I had to have it. Um, for those of you who don't have a Sam's Club, now if you have a Sam's Club, run over there, see if your Sam's Club has it. Um, but I was able to find the book on Amazon. So I will leave a link down below for this book in case you're interested. But you guys, it's fantastic. And I knew I wanted it in my arsenal. Uh, as many of you know, I have a homesteading binder. I will leave the link. It's an old video now. My homesteading binder is kind of torn apart right now because I'm trying to redo all the recipes and um, because I'm trying to make a really nice book for my daughter one day. Uh, but I still use it and I still have everything in it. And I really wanted to add this book to it. I just loved the way that it was laid out. And I love Loved the lists in it and if any of you know me I'm a list girl I'm a pen to paper girl I write everything I hand write everything out and I love lists I am um, I'm a planner I love planners I love making lists so I'm gonna be quiet now <laughs> I'm going to spin you around. I'm going to show you this book. And uh, like I said, if you're interested, I'll leave the link down below. But if you have a Sam's Club, it's a little cheaper at Sam's Club. I bought mine for $16.68. I think on Amazon it's $22. I think it retails for $25. Uh, but still, it's worth every bit of $25. So, um, all right. Let's spin you around and uh, show okay. you the book. So here it is. It is called The Ultimate Prepper Survival Guide. Um, it's by James Wesley Rawls, New York Times best-selling author and founder of survivalblog.com. Survive the end of the world as we know it. Now, I didn't necessarily, you know, I don't necessarily think it's going to be the end of the world, but I will say um, this pretty much includes everything from bad weather to, um, you know, things happening. So um, I, first off, just love the way that the book is um, bound. I love the tabs. It reminds me a lot of the uh, Better Homes and Gardens uh, canning book. I love the canning book for that reason reason. I wish this was more of a three ring binder so that you can actually take the pages out, copy them, you know, like the lists and then be able to put them back or add to it. So I do wish that this was a three ring binder, but you know, I am a homeschooling mom and I do have a way of binding books if I wanted to. Um, they do include a pocket in here though, so I can add more to this if I wanted to. Uh, but I just love not only the information in this, but I really love the setup of the book. So as you can see, it has tabs. So we have a, um, a dangerous tab, mentality, essentials, protection, community, and then of course the checklists in the very back. So here is the table of contents. So this is what you'll find in here. Of course, a forward and an introduction. A world of risk, the prepared mind, water, heating, eating, self-defense, communications, your neighbors, bugging out or staying put, plan A or plan B, the year after, and then of course, uh, your list of lists. So um, lots and lots of information in this. 7.8 billion people in the world in 2020. The uh, world at risk, the topics are too little for too many, economic collapse, fire, flood, and earthquake risks, a little ice age, famine stalks the land, invasion, evasion, and resistance warfare, fearful masters, the nukes, calculated control, pandemics and biological warfare. So definitely a lot of food for thought. Of course, we are dealing with a lot of fires right now. Um, 
We recently dealt with a flood last spring. So these are all topics that I think hit all of us. Um, let's go on to mentality. You've got a place of safety, a store of wealth, a viable occupation and a level head. And then the next section is um, essentials. So we're talking about water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Floods and water supply, water treatment, and the myth of household storage. Um, water is a big thing for us. Um, it is part of the reason why we went to Sam's Club. I did post a picture over on Instagram and Facebook where we bought uh, 20 cases of water. And this is because we are on well. So um, when our power goes out, our well stops working. And when your well stops working, your well pump, um, you don't have water. So uh, we always stock up over the at the beginning of um, the winter season. And um, that way if we get snowed in and we lose power, we get an ice storm, anything like that, you know, it's a two hour round trip to get um, water at Sam's Club. So we stock up over the winter so that we have it on hand in case we need it. And we have had to lean on our water um, storage um, quite a few times. So this is another chapter that really interested, uh, interested me. It's the heating section. So here's heating options, minimizing heating, and then fuel storage. Now we have a gas fireplace that runs on propane, but I really do want to replace it for a wood burning sto stove. Of course, we have to have that prof professionally done and have the fireplace, um, you know, it needs to be able to um, accept, you know, uh, wood burning uh, fire. So um, uh, that's going to be a heavy expense. So we haven't done it yet, but it is definitely something that uh, my husband and I definitely want to do. So heating is an issue. Now, of course, one of my favorite topics, the pantry. So here's eating. So we talk about food storage in here, grid down cooking, special considerations in a societal collapse and seed gathering and storage, which is a big one, especially for those of us who um, garden, right? So great um, information here. And something that, you know, we should all be thinking about, especially, you know, times are, kind of tense right now and um I don't know this is just a this is a lot of knowledge in a little book and um a great resource because you know if the internet ever does go down um you're not going to be able to jump online and find these answers so having a hardcover book in your hands is um for me the way to go so here is an overlook of what you should have per person for one year. So 400 pounds of grain, and that's gonna include pasta, rice, corn, and oats. 20 pounds of fats, which is going to include uh, peanut butter. 60 pounds of dry beans, 10 pounds of salt, 60 pounds of sugar, which is going to include molasses, maple sugar, uh, jams and jellies, a wide variety of garden seeds and 20 pounds of dried milk. So uh, that is the goal, at least in this book. And then they talk about protection and self-defense. So legalities and localities, tiered defense, the draw technique, survival gun selection, defending house on acreage, house hardening, night vision, intrusion detection, and improvised weapons. So a whole um, section on that. Um, the next section that they go into is community. And this is something that if you're not subscribed to this channel, you should be. Um, I find that he is a just a wealth of knowledge. His name is Bear Independent. I'm gonna leave his channel up above. Um, I watch all of his videos and uh, he talks about your neighborhood and surveying your neighborhood all the time. Know who your neighbors are, um, know who you could lean on and know who could cause you trouble if you know, the lights go out. Okay. So, um, something that, you know, some of us don't even think about or consider, but he talks about this a lot. So go give him a subscribe and tell him needy sent you, um, a neighborhood watch on steroids, barter charity. There's a whole section on this. 
They talk about bugging out or staying put. You know, how do you know? A, a Bear Independent talks about this a lot, that usually when, when it's time to bug out, um, when it's time to leave, it's already too late. So he does focus a lot about, um, he does focus a lot on being able to tell when you need to go and having a checklist and when things start getting checked off your list. Um, and this can be for anything. This can be for bad weather. This can be for, you know, hurricane. This can be for um, anything. So, um, and if you had 12 minutes, uh, what would you pack and would you be ready? So, um, again, check out his channel because I love his channel and um, I just think he's full of great information and um, I really enjoy him. So, uh, then they talk about, of course, uh, the year after. And that's for more of a societal collapse, which I hope we never ever have to live through. And then there's checklists, which is the price of admission of this book, I think. So here are the checklists. Barter and charity, books, bug out bag, vehicle bug out bag, food and water, financial preparation, gardening and outdoors, house and home, hygiene and sanitation, personal preparations and security. And this I think is the price of the entire book. Um, I am a checklist person and I just need it laid out in simple terms that I can go through and say check, check, check. You know what I'm saying? Circle the things that I need to work on. Um, I plan on making copies of this because um, I don't necessarily want to write in the book. Um, they do at the end of this have um, a space for your lists. Um, but for me, I will just probably make copies because, you know, I'm a homeschool mom and I have the printer anyway. And, um, and then I'm going to add it to the back of the book. Now, the back of the book does offer you um, this nice deep pocket. I don't know if you can see that. It, it pops up quite a bit. So it's a nice deep pocket that you can add your checklists in and anything else that you want to add to this. But I just honestly think that this is a great addition, especially if you're new to prepping um, and you just want to know and have some information. Like for me, heating, water, those are two big things for me, um, especially since I live in an area, you know, northern, lower Michigan that can get very cold. Uh, we do tend to lose power quite often um, during storms. Um, so this is something, these are topics that I really wanted um, more information on and a checklist for. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I thought that this book, especially right now when, um, I think times are a little, um, uncertain, uh, and stressful, um, I just want, thought I would go ahead and share this book. This book does have, I'm trying to get the the little tie here. So if you do add uh, papers to this book, um, you can kind of close it shut with that, which is a nice touch. And um, yeah, I hope this was helpful to somebody who might be looking for something like this book. So I thought it was worth mentioning and showing to you guys. Um, okay, so go check out Bear Independent. And uh, if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below for me. I will try my very best to answer them for you. Um, if you are a member of mine over in the inner circle. Um, these are things that we are going to be talking about uh, in private chats and videos when we uh, talk about building our pantries, securing water, all of those types of things. So if you are not a member and you want to be a member, I will leave a link to that down below. If you're a VIP member and you want to upgrade so that you can have access to those private live chats and videos, um, go ahead and click the link below and upgrade your perks. All right, guys. With that, I will be seeing you guys very soon. And uh, I hope you guys take care and stay safe.